Hey guys, welcome back to Jason and Journey Builds. We're back in the shop today for a short video on our 1966 Bronco project. So uh, what we're going to show today, we, we want to install our Tom's Bronco bumpers, front, the front rear bumper, and then our uh, I made some body mounts. And so we'll talk about these here in a second. But uh, you guys, uh, take a second, subscribe if you haven't, give us a thumbs up, and here we go. Hi right, guys, uh, appreciate you coming back. Uh, sorry our videos have been a little off for the last two weeks. Uh, it's just with uh, hurricanes and work, things have been a little crazy. So uh, we'll get try to get back to our typical schedule of two videos a week, just here as quick as we can. But anyways, uh, what I want to talk about real quick is body mounts. Um, when I bought the Tom's Bronco bumpers, uh, here a month and a half ago. I, I stuck the front bumper on pretty quick just because uh, I was curious and um, Honestly the the top of the bumper rubbed The grill the bottom of the grill here. It, it just did slide under so I knew any kind of vibrations or whatever would sort of be knocking the paint off my grill and I really didn't want, want to run much of a body lift but thinking about the AOD and reading what I have, that uh, they say a little bit of body lift will actually do you some favors under the, around the transmission. So I decided to go with three quarters of an inch. I uh, happened to have a good friend had a, a big bar of T6 aluminum. Uh, it's a two and a quarter inch diameter. So I just took it to a machine shop and had them cut me eight you know, pucks out of it, three quarters of an inch wide. But I did already have them installed. I'll let Joni show you. It's, um, you have to look right up under here. They fit nice. They look really good. And uh, they're, they're going to do the purpose of what I'm looking for. Again, not wanting to go a lot of body lift. I, you know, it's not really the look I'm looking for. So these are installed and what I'd like to do is uh, put the bumpers on real quick and uh, just show you what this thing's going to look like with the bumpers. Talk about some of the modifications I want to do to them. We'll put the back bumper on and look at it and just kind of look at our gaps and make sure that I'm happy with it and, and give you guys an idea if you're interested in a Tom's Bronco bumper what it would look like on yours. So. Um, Without further ado, let's go ahead and get one stuck on. I'm just going to put this bottom bolt in just to keep the bumper from rotating out. I'm not worried about really tightening it up. That actually looks really good, guys. Um, you see now, it's, it's got a nice, a nice gap across the bottom, but it's not too much where you're really seeing all up underneath it. It's got the nice pre-runner bar on the front. Only thing I can tell is a little bit close for comfort is Right here where they have their name, 
comes right down here on top of that, on top of my grill there. And again, what I'm what I'm looking for is places I I can avoid something vibrating and rubbing up against it and knocking the paint off. So I'll just sort of reshape that just a little bit. But I'm not going to run a winch on this one again. This is a more of a street bronco. But what I'm thinking about is a, a one inch light bar. Cut the front of it out and have a maybe a 16 inch light bar sitting in the bumper. I think it would look really nice and uh, give a little bit of additional light to these things. These aren't known to have the best light. So I like it. What do you think, Johnny? I like it. I think it looks good. It's a good looking bumper and it's it's heavy. It's a uh, definitely heavy built. We just want to show you the, uh, the way the bumper fits and uh, actually what it looks like against the frame rail. So I'll let Joni uh, sort of get a shot, get a shot of it down here. I don't know what else to tell you about it. It bolts up and it looks good. It looks, uh, I don't see any issue with it. It's, uh, it's a good looking piece. We're going to go grab the back bumper, stick it on and see how it looks. All right, guys. Uh, all right, the bumper's got a great look. Um, it's sturdy, really, really sturdy. It, it's very well built. The only thing, and what I've read about um, the bumpers that aren't set up for a body lift, is you end up having this sort of gap in the Bronco. I ordered this bumper for a Bronco without a body lift. Well, now that I have three quarters of an inch body lift, I have that unsightly gap that a lot of people talk about. Well, the one thing about it is we're going to fabricate a tire carrier on this bumper. So you imagine having a big tire here, that's going to help cover up some of it. And I'm also going to build a, uh, a roll pan, just a, uh, a piece of steel broke under here and make it look nice. And it'll just sort of help fill this gap up and kind of give it a finished look rather than what you see in there. So when you specify your your bumpers, when you call them, you can tell them it, you know what size body lift you have, and what it is. They'll end up having this gap sort of made up a little bit. But uh, at the time, I wasn't sure I was going to run a body lift at all. But as you guys know, we've made a few changes here and there with uh, the AOD, Joni. <laughs> I don't know what so. you're talking about. 
So, uh, anyways, we can fix these these issues. But um, so I'll, I'll show you guys that when we get to it, when we make this, and if you decide to do the same thing. But, uh, but that's it. Um, good looking set of bumpers. The Bronco's looking pretty cool. You know, I wish I had an engine. I'd go drive it like it is. But uh, might need some wheels too. Tires. These casters don't work. Seats. Seat belts. <laughs> so anybody want to donate some seats? So anyways, um, appreciate you guys tuning in. Like I said, just short video. Just want to show you guys these bumpers. Uh, the Broncos, it's moving along very well. Uh, we, I did a little bit of work on the fender, um, a couple spots that I needed to kind of tighten up a little bit. And uh, we'll be back in the next video doing something else. <laughs> so uh, trying to keep you guys content and keep this thing moving. Right now we're kind of jumping around, and uh, but we're doing what we can and moving forward. So you guys remember, email us anytime at jasonandjoneybuilds at gmail.com. Let us know if you have any requests. So y'all have a great day. We'll see you soon. Take care.